how should you react when you hear people talking about the housing bubble that's gonna pop? Should you run away? Should you panic? What should you do? Here's my advice. Nobody knows. Nobody has any idea what's actually gonna happen during the crazy market that we're in right now. It's been a bull run for a long time. The last two years have been crazy. At some point, there's gonna have to be a correction, a market correction or an adjustment where the market slows down a bit. As interest rates rise ever so slightly, I think you'll see less buyers come in the market and it will have to adjust. But I would tell you as an investor, don't listen to the experts. Experts are always coming in telling you what they think is gonna happen. Are they right? Sometimes. Are they wrong? Sometimes. A broken watch is right twice a day. I'm not saying they're not experts. I'm not saying they're not based on some good fundamentals, but they don't know. They don't actually control what happens in the real estate market. It's really controlled by people. It's really controlled by a lot of things. Is there money available? Are there houses available? Do people still wanna buy houses? All those things are still there. Even if money gets more expensive, people will still be buying houses. I will not stop buying houses. I will not listen to naysayers. I will not listen to people saying the bubble's gonna pop. Listen, everybody that says, when Amber and I started back in 2008, everybody told us not to buy houses. It was the worst time it was gonna pop. We bought our first house in 07, and right during we had the house when everything started to crash. And then in 08, we bought three more houses that year. And everybody said, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I didn't listen to naysayers. I don't listen to naysayers. I don't listen to people that tell me not to do something. Matter of fact, I used to do the opposite. So I didn't listen to the experts. I kept pushing forward. Was it easy? No, it was difficult. There was no money available back in 2008. There was no hard money lenders, but I found a way to get it done. But what I found is during those times when the market shifted, I was able to buy a lot more houses and do a lot more deals than you can today. So I would tell you, be very careful and do, if you wanna be successful, do what Amber and I do. Don't listen to naysayers. Trust your gut, trust your heart, push through your fear and do it because this business of real estate investing is based on sound financial principles. Now again, if you are somebody trying to count on appreciation, I wouldn't do that. I base your business and base your decisions on basic fundamentals. Are you buying low? We make our money in real estate when we buy. If you buy low, you have a lot of options. You can wholesale that property to somebody else. You can sell it as is to somebody else. You could flip it and do minimal renovations. You could do maximum renovations for maximum dollars. You can look at all different options in a hot market like this. But don't listen to people that say it's gonna pop, it's gonna pop. If you put your feet in the mud and you just get stuck there and you don't do anything, then your future doesn't move ahead. If you listen to other experts out there, remember, the people you're listening to, are they going to write you a check for your future? Are they going to write you a check for your kids to go to college or for you to pay off your credit cards or for you to retire early? Because if they're going to give you money, I'd be very careful taking advice from them. A lot of times people that are the experts aren't people that are actually in the field doing the investing. I would do what Amber and I do and ignore the naysayers, ignore people that say it's going to burst. And remember, real estate has appreciated every year for over 100 years. Generally speaking, there's been ups and downs, but overall, it always appreciates in value. And if you buy it right, right, here's the fundamentals. If you buy it right, there are always motivated sellers in any market, in a hot market, in a pop bubble market, and in any kind of market, there's always gonna be motivated sellers. Why? There's always people that pass away and have houses that haven't been touched in decades. There's always people that have a state that they, they inherit a house that's, that's thousands of miles away and they just wanna get rid of it. There's people that go through divorces, the people that have sickness, there's people that have death and disease. There are things that happen. They, have, they get downsized from their job. There are things that happen to people that make them motivated sellers. And our job is to help those people get through those situations by buying their house. But we make our money when we buy. It doesn't matter if the market is popped, not popped, hot, not hot. Those motivated sellers, if we buy the house right, we can always make money by making improvements to it, by flipping it, again, by wholesaling it. There's a lot of ways to make money in real estate, but you have to stop listening to the experts that tell you when and when you shouldn't get into real estate. You can if you want to, but Amber and I chose to not listen to anybody and put our nose down, put our blinders on, and go to work. And by going to work, we created a massive legacy for ourselves, and now we're helping tens of thousands of people in the country do the same exact thing because we don't listen to the experts, we just became them.